Welcome to JA Our Community Session 4. For today's activity, you're going to need your volunteer guidebook, the table tents that you should have collected in previous sessions, your ballots, your I voted stickers, and the learning log. Today's lesson is all about voting and the importance of voting and what the whole voting process looks like. When you get into class, you're gonna welcome students and really recap what you did last time. And then we're just gonna talk about some essential questions, how do communities make changes and why do people get involved? We're gonna talk about responsible versus responsibility. Again, these are vocab words. So I would have one to two people come to the board and have them give a description of what it means to be responsible versus having a responsibility. These are clickable, so we want the students to interact with the on-screen presentation. You're gonna talk about different ways that people could help in a community. And we're gonna talk about how in our community, we have a park and it's got a few problems. You're gonna look at this picture and students are gonna raise their hand and give some of their examples of how they think the park could be improved. What's wrong with the park? Well, there's trash everywhere because there's no trash cans. There's no dog park, so the dogs are running around. There's no benches, so the old man has to stand. The playground is broken, the swings, and the kids could get hurt, right? There's a lot of different problems. So we're going to have students come up and brainstorm some of the problems they think are in the park. And then we're going to talk about how it's always good to be informed. And when we're fixing a problem in the community, it's really good to involve other people in the community. So here we have some of our neighbors in the community, and they also think that some things are wrong with the park. So we're going to go through and see. My dog loves to run and round and play fetch with a ball. But again, there's no dog park. We need more trash and recycling bins, right? Some of that stuff we already talked about. Some people say the same thing. Some people say different things, right? More trees and flowers, right? To make our park beautiful. Um, so just go around, have students come up to the board and click on the people in the community who are talking about different problems in the park. Once we've got a good list of everything that's wrong with our park, we're gonna talk about voting and ballots. Again, I would bring two people up to the board to be vocab experts and ask, what does it mean to vote? And what does it mean to be, like, what's a ballot? What is that exactly? And have someone give their explanation and then they can click on it to turn it around. Then we are going to have the students vote. So. You are gonna take your ballots and on the ballot, we have more trash cans, more benches or a dog park. So based on what the student said and based on what the other community member said, these are the three biggest issues. These will need to be cut out before you get to class. So once we have these, we are gonna to talk to students about what is expected when they are voting. Talk about your own experiences. Have you ever voted? If you have, what did it look like? What was that process? Remind students that although they can talk to people before the vote, they should not look to their friends when they're voting. They should not share what they're voting. Um, they should keep it anonymous and you can have them drop it face down on the front. You can have them put it in a bucket. You can model kind of a voting ballot, like when we would put it into a slot, into a bucket, you could do that. You can be really creative with it. Then when they're done, you should also talk about what it looks like to vote. So on the vote, it says, check your choice. So talk to the students. If they put an X through it, it doesn't count. If they check more than one, it doesn't count. And what do we do with ballots that aren't count? They just get thrown out. So we wanna make sure that they're following the rules and putting a check on one of them, whichever one they feel is most important for the park. You can also talk to them about the fact that all three are important, right? It's important to have a safe and clean and fun park. So maybe it's something where we're just starting with one of these and then we're gonna take on one project and then we can vote on another project later. 
Once you've handed everyone a ballot, they can check it off and drop it off, however you're deciding to do that. And when they come in and drop off the ballot this year, South Dakota has provided I Voted stickers. If you vote in your community, hopefully you get one of these. It's super fun. It brings awareness um, to voting. And so students really like bringing home something tangible. So you can hand each student one of those for after they vote. Then you're going to count the votes and figure out, it's majority rule, which uh, thing we are going to fix in the park. Are we going to add more trash cans? Are we going to add more benches? Or are we going to build a dog park? Students really love getting involved and helping make this decision. Then we're going to turn to our learning log. And there's a lot of fun questions about what their responsibilities are at home. And there is a back where they can draw a picture of how they would help their community. If you have time, you can play Harper's Playground video. It's about a student who needs a more inclusive park and how the community moved around her to help make sure that she had a park where she felt safe and could play at. Then we're just going to sum it up again. You can ask the students some of these fun questions. We can talk about what they learned and then talk to them about when they get home, have their parents help them maybe create a poster of how they can help um, around the house or around the neighborhood. After that, you have completed session four of JAR Community and we hope you enjoy.